Robin, do you understand? Uh, yes. Okay, let's move on. I will never use the term midget again. It's hard for you in a world where people uh, say, oh, oh, look at this, look at this. They make fun of, uh, put, put them in the circus and that. You try to become a legitimate actor, which you do. And then what happens is you are a hit on Fantasy Island. Yeah, that was a pretty, um, pretty big hit. And you make big money, do you not? Oh, I did make pretty good money, yeah. 20000 a week? More than that. More than 20000 really? a week. How long did that run? <laughs> Seven years. Seven what? years? Do you, do you get residuals from that? Actually, I'm not getting any now, and we, we are trying to find out why. You are not getting residuals, and you do not know why? No, not yet. This is unbelievable to me, Robert. my lawyers are working on it. The lawyers are working on this. Okay. Always he's got lawyers. Oh, yeah. everything. Hervé, you got tons of lawyers. What are your legal bills a year? Uh, oh, yeah. All right, he is speechless. A lot of money. Okay. Billy Barty doesn't have this many lawyers. So what is he doing now? now? Now, let me get this straight, Robin. Before we go to what he's doing now. So you make all this money. You make several million dollars, am I correct? No, that, um, not that much. Close to a million dollars. Not that much. You bank a Seven lot of money. Seven years, over 20000 an episode? Seven years, 30000 an episode, let's say. And they owe me a lot of money. They owe you a lot of money. Okay, so you did not receive all your money. No, not yet. All right, but you made a lot of money. Right. You get married to a normal-sized woman. Oh, uh, yeah. How long does the marriage last? One, uh, one year, three months, two weeks, and one day. Oh, was After, any of it happy? I just want to know. Was, it, was any of it good? Oh, yeah. It was. The sex was good? Yeah, that's no problem on that side. Would you have sex once or twice a day? It depends. Uh, sometimes twice a day. Sometimes twice a day. Ooh. Well, that's more than I get. <laughs> and I'm married a long time, I'll tell you that. I was younger, too. And this was a beautiful girl, a showgirl? Uh, she was uh, an extra in the movie. Yeah. An extra in the movie. So she was a very beautiful woman. Yeah. Okay, now, so... What you were saying then? Now, this is, this is a bit tragic, isn't it, in a sense? Not really, not after so many years. Man. Because you worked so hard to get to where you are, and then uh, yeah, a year well, and a half a, of marriage... And what happens? And what happens? A well, woman is entitled to 50% of your income? I still don't, don't know what happened, because I found out I was getting divorced reading the paper. <gasps> you read in the newspaper that you were getting divorced? Yeah, I didn't was know your about wife it. at home? No. Yeah, she was there reading the paper. <laughs> no, she was at her mom's room. You mean you tell me you were at your house, you woke up one morning, and there it was in the paper that you were getting divorced? Um, actually, a friend of mine called me and said, Bet what, you're on the paper. Unbelievable. And you're getting be. divorced. I said, what? Yeah, really? And I was going to Paris, and um, I had an airplane ticket for both of us to leave. Uh, oh, so you didn't you have any idea there was any problem in your marriage? No, no. Well, let me tell you something. If Ooh. my wife ever decides to leave me, I hope she doesn't tell me in the newspaper. That would be ultimately very embarrassing, to be honest with I you. I thought it was strange. Who are your friends? Do you have show business friends now? Why was your uh, day filled? I try not to have too many people in trouble in this. I see. Now, uh, is there anybody close to you? Uh, who is your tightest friend? Uh, I've got a couple of friends. Anybody in show business that we might know? Uh, no. Ricardo Montalbán, good guy or very jackass? Oh, he's a good guy. Good guy. Uh, Still in touch? Uh, no, not really. Not in touch at all? That okay. doesn't sound very friendly to me. He, li he lives in Beverly Hills, and I live uh, pretty far away from that. I see. Well, Robin, there it is. A we sad have learned... story. What have we learned? Hervé has made love to many women. Yes. Some of them took half his money, <laughs> which is very unfortunate. Was I'm... that your only marriage? No, my second one. Second marriage. Okay. What, oh, I see. So what happened but with the first But you haven't gotten married again. The first one was very nice. Will yeah. you ever remarry? Uh, no, I will not get remarried. You will never get remarried. Very smart okay. man. No I'll way. tell you that. No Are you involved with someone now? Uh, not really. And yeah, like that. How's Robin look to you? <laughs> she'll take half your money How in two money seconds. How much you got left? No. She'll put two, three weeks in with you and take half your money. I got news for you, Hervey. Well, maybe she's worth it. Yeah, well, maybe. I don't know. But let me tell you something, Hervey. Mm. As I wrap this up, I want to say it's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. Well, we haven't found out what Hervey's doing now. Oh. What the hell are you doing, Hervey? What am I doing? I'm here on your show. I know. Besides that, yeah. uh, this is the bottom of the show business barrel, this show. I got news for you. I'm writing and... Uh, what are you writing? Um, my, like, like my biography. You are writing a biography? Oh, yeah. Well, so, uh, and you will tell all? Uh, yes. But Have you made love to famous women? No. What the hell kind of biography is that going to make there, Hervey? No offense. That word is plenty to say. I got news for you. You got to think about that. You know what you do? You lie make a little bit. Make up some names. Make up yeah. some names. <laughs> Go back, take Robin back there, bang her a couple of times and write about it. Okay, now listen, Hervey. It's a great pleasure to meet you. Thank you. And uh, thank you for coming on. I kind of small nuts. When we come back, I'm going to be doing my peewee thing. You might want to okay. stick around for that. You're going to yeah. really like that. And uh, what are we going to be right back after these words? Yeah. yeah, okay. We'll be back right after these words. <laughs> Hello.
Hello, welcome to Pee Wee's Play With Yourself House, where we're about to conduct the first interview oh. with Pee Wee since his arrest. Well, oh, Jesus, Robin. Look at my hand. Oh. <laughs> uh. What is that from, pray tell? Oh, my God. Robin, pull off my blanket. <laughs> you really <laughs> want me to? Pull, pull, pull off my blanket. All right. <laughs> you've asked for this. <laughs> Ah! Pee-wee! Pee-wee was whittling. You weren't playing with yourself. No, I wasn't playing with myself, but this is Pee-wee's play with himself house. And now I have to make a phone call. Hi. You've reached 970 Big Brown Girls with Large Breasts. Doesn't my voice make you want to reach into your lap? <laughs> I'm a lusty lady in the tightest miniskirt allowed by physics. Call back later. <laughs> wow! Robin! <laughs> oh, come on. What are you pull doing? Up, pull, what? Up, pull off my blanket. Again? Pull off my blanket. All right. <laughs> oh, Rubik's Cube. Let me do my dance. <laughs> All right, Robin. Yes, so Pee Wee, what is in the play with yourself house? Robin, look. Look at all my friends. Yes. This is Toothy. <laughs> look at his giant teeth. <laughs> And look over here, Robin. Who is this? This is Globy. <laughs> now, what and, does Globy do? Well, this is a globe, and this is Japan, and this is where the bomb hit, right here. <laughs> and now, Robin, take yes. a look over here. Right. This is my friend, Danby. Oh! Makalaka hi, makahiney ho. Makalaka hi, makahiney ho to you too, Danby. Hi, Danby. Do you have a wish, Pee Wee? No, what should I wish for? I know, you could wish for the police to stop hassling you. Wow, who wrote that, Fred Norris? <laughs> hey, Danby, what else could I wish for? You could wish for a good attorney. Hey, Jesus, Danby, Toothy was wittier than you. <laughs> you could also wish you could get out of your TV contract. Danby, you're a mixed up bastard. <laughs> did, you ever, did you ever think to let your hair grow a little longer, Danby? How long do you think I should grow it? Long enough to cover your teeth. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> well, who is this, Pee-wee? Wait a second, Robin. There was a knock on the door. <laughs> Hi. I'm the king of Polo Land. What did you say? Hi, I'm the king of Polo Land. It's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> this new thing is a very adult tech. Yes, it does, Robin. This is the king of Porno Land, and he's my friend. Look at some of the great porno tapes that he has. Screw the right thing. Oh. Edward Penis Hands. And Robin, look at this one. It's a fairy tale. What is it? 50 years of memorable TV shows on WWOR. <laughs> wow. Hey, King of Porno Land, we're going to watch a movie now. <laughs> oh, what's the movie? Well, we're going to have a great movie, Robin. First, I have to put on my movie jacket. Uh, Your movie jacket fell on the floor? First, I have to put on my movie jacket. It's a raincoat? Well, if you notice, it already has its hands in it. Yes, why is that? 